Hello everyone, this is Tanvir from IB MBA 59 Batch. This is our English grammar tutorial about error findings. In this sentence, we can say there are four underlines and each uh, in one underline there must have an uh, error part. So if there is no error, then we should go for no error part. I mean the answer will be then D. So amar jokhon e dhone question goli khetre jokhon amra start korbo amader poteta part i mean a b othoba c amar dekhte hobe je kon onsho te bhul royeche amra ekdom starting theke jabo jemon bakko ta shuru hoyeche ekhane used primarily in the usa and canada ei onsho to hocche ekta phrase so jokhon amader ekta bakko used dara shuru hobe ei modifier ta kake modify korche american sign language ta mane american sign language ke byabohar kora hoy so ei bakko ta te ekhane ei ta hocche subject ebong which comprises hand signs, facial expressions and finger spelling. E Oxotoko, a language ke act to modify coach. It a camera both about a positive. So a back camera calcula the bo eight of the different at a cross. So a mother e oxo right caron used to manoche jet a babacro hoche shake at a past participle that is start hobe. Abo secondary oxota but the further information that starts with which. So which represent coach language ke abo language comprise core bibuno have a go to the hoy. So, I am going to tell you that the subject of the American Sign Language, then there is no finite verb. We know that one subject carries one finite verb, right? So, in this case, including here, it is not a finite verb. This is gerund or participle. So, I am including including gerund, I am going to American Sign Language, it is the same thing, included. Othoba includes. To the back of present tense, hoy, the includes hobe. To the past tense, hoy, the included hobe. So this is the error part, and that's why we are not going for to D. This is how you can find an error in a sentence, and thank everyone for watching this.